What's going on in Yemen? The Arab world's poorest country. 13 years old and you want to fight? A civil war has been raging in Yemen. It's a proxy battle between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Houthi rebels backed by Iran fight the Yemeni president backed by a Saudi-led coalition of Arab countries. The worst humanitarian crisis in the world. The largest ever outbreak of cholera is the children who suffer most. Nearly every single Yemeni child. The damage is absolutely devastating. I'm in a hotel in Cairo right now. My flight leaves in three hours. I'm going to Yemen. Guess welcome to Yemen. This is so beautiful. It just feels incredible to be in this country, the country facing the worst humanitarian crisis in the world. But on the other hand, you might look at this hotel and say, hey, but what are you doing there then? I guess you also want to keep yourself safe. This is a way for people like me to do it these days. This is hundred dollars. Ah. Thank you. Sugar. All the clothes ready. And now we're gonna change to blend in. And try to be more like a local, really. Good morning from the beautiful Yemen. Technically, this is the most dangerous country in the world. That's at least what they say. What is true is that they're facing the worst humanitarian crisis in the world. And in a way, I feel privileged to be here to try to see and explore as much as I can and engage with locals. But on the other hand, as I told you yesterday, I'm staying in this hotel for a few days for safety and security purposes. That's what they told me. This is not my first choice. So we're going to see a lot of different places. We're going to a market. Probably I cannot take my camera, but I will take my phone or my GoPro. In this trip, the most important thing is not the quality. I think the most important thing is the content. It's the message. Hopefully you understand and you can stay with me a little bit longer and really see what Yemen is. Maybe one of the interesting anecdotes. When I was on the plane, on the way from Cairo to Yemen, 95% of the plane was Yemeni people. There was this family, this lady, she had some walnuts. Even though we didn't understand each other, she was offering me a handful of walnuts, saying, yeah, you have it, you have it, you should eat it, you should eat it. All the time smiling, super friendly. It's not those flights where I felt anxiety and all that. I felt so happy seeing these people like smiling, laughing, and maybe they don't have much but they offer that to you. People with AK-47. Pretty much this area destroyed. Uh, well, like, that looks really fantastic, to be fair, like all mud buildings. Building a little wall here. Uh, all, all day working, huh? Yes. Non stop. palace over there and you can see this in the in the note in the actual money cars are a little bit uh, old here but they actually work well this place looks like closed this is like a 
the center you can buy honey like honey is very popular and they say that uh, honey is one of the things that you should always try here Spices market they were telling me that literally when you are 14 15 you cannot know how to use a motorcycle how to ride a motorcycle and obviously how to carry a weapon for defense from a young age Oh man, okay. thank you. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Abdullah. Abdullah. Very nice. What's this place, guys? There are many royal palaces and this is one of the palaces here. Yeah. In the south Yemen there are many many uh, royal uh, palaces, really beautiful. The this. rifle? And instead of flowers? This and then lucky. <laughs> and then lucky. It's yeah. like a, a cigarette. It's like a strong, it's like a strong message. Does he know how to use this? Uh, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name is um, Ammar. Ammar, Ammar, yes, Ammar. Yes. The owner of this of this place. Yeah. This is uh, only women we cannot touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the only one. I never imagined they could have so many different kind of uh, styles. So you can see like a stamp there, but on the other hand there's no rubbish collection either. This is what it is, I guess, here. So we came to this place for lunch. Grab something quick to have lunch here and keep exploring. I guess this is where they have all the dough. It's like a well, bakery. No. So these guys, they also love barbecues. Some chicken. This is a classic here. Rice, chicken. This is kind of a restaurant. This is where people normally Eat, right on the floor on those rugs and yeah I love this place I love this place but mainly people people are so 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 nice what's your name and you Ali Ali Ali, nice to meet you. Oh my god! From Yemen? Yeah, from Yemen. Yes. Yaman. They tell me, say my name, say my name. Yalla, yalla. All Toyota here, all Japanese brands, all Japanese brands here. countries are here in Yemen. Race is over. People go crazy about this. But yeah, this is also Yemen, huh? The capital of the motorcycle. This is Yemen, right? This is a hotel, the first floor. There's so many rooms, not really people here. Tomorrow we're moving to a different area. I wanna explore and meet people and learn more about the country. I'm still with the local clothes. As I told you this morning, this was just a recommendation for security and safety protocols, but you don't have to. It's completely up to you if you want to blend in. But at the end, they know when you are not from that area. I know it in my country and they know it in their country. I cannot stop talking about people. Really kind, trying to know, you know, my name, where I'm from, what I'm doing here, and smiling and trying to share things. You know, we couldn't really communicate too much, but the very few 
conversations that we had, they were hospitable and friendly people. On the other hand, it's true and we need to acknowledge Yemen is facing the worst humanitarian crisis in the world and half of the population, they don't have safe water to drink. But this is not preventing them from still being kind and open their homes and open their hearts to you. This is one of the most beautiful moments of the day because I'm staying in this area very, very, very close to a mosque. So you can hear everything and how people live their religion and all that. Probably one other question or, or concern today was about security and safety. We have people on the ground with rifles. When I ask, obviously it's just for security and safety purposes, self-protection. And when you're a tourist, you need this, even though you might feel in certain moments, hey, is it, is it really that bad? Do I really need it? This is a recommendation here, and it's very important to have people on the ground who can guide you and escort you and take you to some areas where you cannot really go alone. This is important for anyone coming here. There's a lot of checkpoints as well, reasonable checkpoints. We didn't stop too much, at least for the first day or two. And again, probably as I mentioned this morning, the footage from today was mainly with my GoPro and my, and my phone and maybe it was not the best quality. But I hope you understood that the content is probably king here. It was not probably safe to have my big camera with me, but I think tomorrow we'll have a chance to bring the camera with me at least in some places and hopefully we can meet some locals and again understand more about the country, the culture and all that because at the end of the day it's okay for me to see the highlights, you know, to visit this building, this other building to understand a little bit of the history and special places. But if you watched some of my videos you will know that my trips are more enjoyable when I have a conversation and when I engage with locals. I guess if you want a building or if you want a certain place you can always google you can always buy a postcard but i hope i can share more than that with you anyway we're gonna have dinner after the prayer probably get to sleep relatively early today because tomorrow we wake up early and we have a packed day